This is the summary video for today lesson, subject science, unit three, lesson 3.5 sorting, living things from your learner book page number 34 and 35 and your homework for today page number 21 from your activity book. First of all, uh, learning, uh, the learning objective. Today you learned uh, in the class about how to make a, how to sort living thing into group using simple uh, features. And also we saw the exercise in the class. Sorting living thing. Scientists who study living things need to be able to group them. We are making group and different shape according to different features. Help the zookeeper sort the animals into the correct group. There are animal with animals with feathers, animal with power, animal with scales. So animal with feathers, like you can uh, say about bird, this one, this one, and this one, hog. These three have feathers. These three are animal with feather. Animal, animals with fur, like lions, uh, you can also say mouse, panda, and what about animal with scale? For finish animal with scales like crocodile and snake. Crocodile and snake. Animal with uh, scales. So like this, they are making group. So you can also make like this group on your notebook. Write an animal with feathers, animal with fur, animal with scale, and write down the no, uh, name. Or you can uh, cut the picture and paste from the internet. <clears throat> now you can uh, clearly understand feather like bird, they have feathers. Scales like snake, crocodile, they have scales, their body uh, hard, stick, stick you can say. And fur like mouse, uh, like uh, sorry, rabbit, horse, cow, different uh, mammals, okay, they have fur. So feather, scales, and fur, we can make different group of animals. Look at this picture. <coughs> Excuse me. Take uh, talk to a friend about how you can, how you could sort these living things. You can sort according to their, according to their features, like uh, animal with the uh, feathers or animal with fur or animal and plant. Okay, you can make as you like. Make group, like butterfly, uh, fish. They have. Uh, <clears throat> the scale animal with scale you can uh, make this in the group of animal with scales uh, goat and uh, bear and monkey animal with fur and uh, animal with the feather there is only butterfly okay and insects you're also making insect insect don't have you also make a uh, with backbone and without backbone like a vertebrate animal and invertebrate animal Okay, like this you can make as you can make it and just cut the pictures and uh, make group. Okay, animal and uh, plants and cut the plants picture, put under the plant and animal picture, put under the picture, uh, put under the animal uh, column. Okay, there is another activity. Ajuma has collected these small animals, suggest group. He can put them in, suggest a question then and that he could use to sort the animal. You can see different insects here, the butterfly, uh, scrab, ladybug, a worm, a bee, different insects are here. So you can make a group according to what, uh, uh, these are all invertebrates because all insects. So you can make uh, with legs and without legs, like with legs, this one, this one, and uh, this one, okay. And other without leg, okay. Like this you can make group <clears throat> this is a summary living thing can be put into group yes we can put living thing into the group into two group according to their features the groups have something in common obviously sometimes <clears throat> they have far similar for sometimes they have uh, similar features so like this we can make group uh, and then the exercise how many group of animals and plant do you know what are they no need plant here plant in your activity book uh, how many groups of animal you can also make two more group vertebrates and invertebrates vertebrates mean animal with backbone 
like bird and fish okay and what about invertebrate animal without backbone uh, for example uh, insect spider okay they, these are all invertebrate without backbone why do scientists need to group animals to find common features to find common feature according to their common feature we will put in a group why might you group a lion and wolf together because wolf and lion uh, eating um, meat their teeth they both have teeth and also you can say they have paw they have a tail so like this we can make in the same group okay boys take care page number 21 from your activity book uh, solve it as your homework goodbye assalamu alaikum